Hello Dreamers! Are you ready to start the Open Idea path? If you still haven't signed up, go to openidea.biz and get all the extra freebies I prepared for you. Before starting, it's a good practice to collect important data that will allow you to proceed with the Open Idea path quickly and precisely. Of course, if you already have a website or social analytics, that can be very useful, as it can be consulting databases or doing market research that maybe you have already done. But after that, the first thing is getting to know your team. I suggest you to go and create a Google form or something similar and make them fill it with information like what is their role in the team, which knowledge and skills they have, that make them the right persons for that role. Which extra skills and passions they have, like for example, are they power TikTok users? Or do they dance? Do they write poetry or stuff? Ask them to share those special skills and knowledge not necessarily connected to their role. Also, ask them to describe in 10 lines the history of the idea you're working on. If your idea implies products or services, ask them to list them and describe each of them. Ask them to tell according to them which are the strengths and the weakness and the things that make your idea unique. This is very important, so tell them to think it through. Finally, ask them to list all the media, the partners, the competitors and the keywords they manage to think of that apply to your idea and the environment in which you will operate. These questions will be very useful in the first two steps of the open idea path, but also knowing things as their skills and passions may give you some extra ideas or extra power in the creative part of the path. So, once you have done that, after everyone has answered, call a meeting with all the members of the team and ask them to read the answers they have written. Or if you did it anonymously, then pick up in random order and read the answers to everyone, discussing with them and creating a shared culture about your idea and the team. Of course, at the end, you also will have to share your answers. Remember, even if you are the founder or the creator of the idea, you have to hear all the others and manage to introduce pieces of the idea in your story. Finally, get the list of competitors collected during the team data gathering and create a spreadsheet and do an extended research about all of them, also about partners and media. Then, finally move to the users. So, if you already have an operating business or project, there is a good chance that you already have real users. If not, then you should at least have an idea of the kind of persons or organization your idea may be useful to. Go to them. The users of your product, services and ideas are the people with whom your team must initiate an ongoing relationship. In order to do this, it is important for you to get to know them know who they are, what they do, what they know about your idea, what they think of the products and services offered, and much more. My advice here is to collect data in two ways. The first is going for quantity. Create a survey about your idea and use all the channels, personal or of the team, to share the link to this survey. Then create it. To create it, you might find useful to, for example, first thing, define clearly the purpose of the survey. Keep it short and focused, ask simple questions, don't make your users lose time, use closed questions and evaluation scales as much as possible. Use a logical order, start off with the most important questions and leave personal details at the end. Make a test run with a small sample of persons to find minor inaccuracies, misinterpretations of questions or things like that. Think about your target, when you decide the submission date and the time of the questionnaire. Take, in, take into account that, that you need to send the reminders to complete the questionnaire. Offer maybe an incentive, it may effectively increase your feedback, like a price, a discount, a special something that may have a value for your audience. The, purf the purpose of the survey at this stage of the Open Idea Pass is not only to collect social demographic data, but also understanding what the users know about the idea, at least in general. So it's a good practice 
to spilling it three sections. In the first one, dedicate a few lines of the initial description to explain your users why it is important for you your team to collect their ideas and opinions. In addition, it is paramount in this section to explain the logic of the questioner, okay? In the second section, make questions like tell us about the first time you had to deal with us or with the kind of product we sell. Mm, mark the products and services similar to ours you have already bought or which ones you will recommend to family and friends. Rate the following services and products and all those questions that can help you understand the user's experience. In the final part, ask them more about who they are. In addition to the part purely concerning personal details like name, city, age, gender, things like that, it is good practice to find out the user's lifestyle. For example, where do you use the internet the most? How often do you use it? Which newspapers, magazines do you read? And all those questions that can help you identify the means channels to contact your users. Conclude by asking about the willingness to participate in a focus group or a telephone interview. The focus group or discussion group is the second way I advise you to use to collect data in a qualitative way, where a group of people is invited to talk, discuss, and debate about their personal attitude towards a theme, a product, a project, or an idea, or a character. It's very important. In the Open Idea Path, this technique is used to understand, rationalize, and empower the experience of the users while relating to the idea. The purpose of these groups is to gather valuable information that can hardly come from a quantitative research as a survey. So, for example, the themes on which the conversations uh, with the users should converge regard the buying process. With that, I mean the experience of when they feel the need of using the services or products or whatever your, your idea is about. For example, ask them what is the trigger, what are the considerations they do, like do they know if there are any other offering uh, kind of the same thing, or do they feel they know enough about the market? Ask them if they do some kind of research, which informations they consider useful to know and to decide. Ask how they choose one brand over another. Try to understand if once they decide there could be anything that changes their mind in the moment they buy. For example, could a bad shop assistant make them desist from buying? Or if on their way to pay, they saw an alternative and at a lower cost maybe. Could that change their mind? Finally, understand which are the parameters with which they will evaluate the experience they had with the product or the service. You may ask these questions during group discussions, but also during one-on-one -on -one interviews. Also, if when people are in groups, the interactions dynamics may bring them to give more natural answers uh, than when doing it uh, in questionnaires or in, by single users. So, when you do all this research with users and with your team, remember these, kind, these tips. Be kind. Remember that those persons are there to help. Make sure everyone is involved in the conversation during multi-user interviews. Even the shyest person of the group. Don't be too formal. Create an atmosphere that allows everyone to feel free to express their own thoughts. Do not judge and any of the answers. They are precious, even the weirdest. Do not contract. When something negative or that you don't like is said, try instead to go in depth by asking explanations to spell out the critic. Don't be arrogant. Even one of the interviews is not nice or seems not to take very seriously the interview, don't speak only of their personal experience. Try asking if they know about the experience of other users. Start off with informal questions. For example, let's do an introduction round, or what do you do, or other things. Then keep asking questions. Make them tell you about the first time they got in contact with your idea, and then start digging. Even though you are just at the beginning of the path, these persons make up the first embroil of the tribe. So find a way to keep in touch with them, even informally, at least until you have a strategy in place. 
So this is all for this first step of the open idea path. So now is your moment. Start gathering all these informations and next week we'll start to see how useful this work will be. Okay, today's keep it open ends here.